to show you how to use the ground copper force in keycat and use it to connect the power and crown net on in a, in a design so let's say we have this design which is this lm25763 ic and they have a crown network and this is what i have is their uh, the pcb layout if you look at this net this particular net which is the uh, ground net if you look closely at these these are all let me select all of the net completely so that you can view where these go completely select all tracks in the net so if this net gets highlighted this is all like this coming over connected in a zigzag fashion like this 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 and it's going all over the place all the way to here to these connections so instead of using them to connect it in this fashion what we could do is if you look at the bottom layer so i turn the front layer off and then i turn the ground layer off what i can do is i can select this code copper and right click and properties and then instead of no net what i can do is i can assign it to the ground layer so what I click when I click OK here, this net is now assigned the ground name. And if you already see that this pin, which was earlier not connected, gets automatically connected to this ground port. And the same thing is over here. These you see these uh, connections like uh, this and this gets connected to that ground port. So many of them these get automatically connected, and the rest of the things. Uh, let me turn off the uh, bottom layer and just on the top layer I will remove the copper uh, and then I select this whole net again select all tracks in the net and then I just hit delete when I do that this gets disconnected but now we have on the bottom side this copper port that you can see right here and then what you could do is uh, you could just go on and click each of these nets and uh, just drop down a via from here uh, maybe I can do a predefined via I can add a thicker via like a 30 mils uh, and then track anytime I try to um, track uh, use a ground for I use a thicker via uh, okay so this is how I do click on the it potentially adds this via here and so on and so forth so now you notice that this that under this is this 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 one gets connected to the top one this is the same thing I could do for example between this and this I again connect this one with uh, a I just can connect with this one same the same fashion with this maybe a 9.8 mil via same the same so the idea is to just go on connecting these things and go on pouring more via here right here and then place through via so you get a uh, of via here now this net again get connected to the bottom and the same thing we could keep on doing this for all the traces here uh, like this this and then place a through via and then click on here uh, this one I can just go ahead and and connect it to this like this so it will get connected so I can go ahead and uh, that the top for now for, for the moment I can just go ahead and delete this uh, top uh, port but probably I can uh, I can assign this top hmm, filter selection uh, okay I can just delete this one for now we, we selected the top copper layer we wanted to select the uh, top copper and then delete 
the top copper gets deleted now it's easy for me to see i can go ahead and uh, keep on routing rest of the via for example this one gets here i connect this one from here and then click on this one and then click v uh, just click same thing for here I again click crown v click uh, bus chat but just, just by doing this repeating this process again i can go on just adding more and more via on my design like this this v enter this and then again again keep doing the same thing so you got the idea you can just go on and now if you look at the bottom layer you see that i have a vi if you again uh, remove the back layer so you see that there is a vi right here and the vi right here they are connected through the bottom layer ground force so in this fashion you can just go ahead and connect all the rest of this uh, ground port they are connected to this bottom via yeah. i hope this understanding helps and you can apply this same thing to the top layer for plus 5 volt so the key thing again is to select this uh, whole uh, copper plane and then and then uh, assign it a net name